Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Chris on Halo 4 Follower. Microsoft has recently gave us extra information on the DLC requirements to use the DLC. You will need, obviously, a copy of Halo 4, 4 gigabytes of free space on your hard drive, and Xbox Live Gold membership. When buying the map pass at a retail store for $25 or set for 2,000 Microsoft points on the marketplace, you'll be guaranteed access to day one of the three map packs on their specific release dates. Basically, you're pre-ordering, you're not getting them early. However, yes, you can buy the map packs individually as one, two, and three. However, you'll be missing out on a few bonuses and 15% savings. The first planned and soonest release day of the DLC will be in the time frame of December. It is called the Crimson Map Pack. Each map pack has three maps to go around, which for Crimson's map pack, we have wreckage harvest and shatter and that's what we're going to be talking about today recapping some official details wreckage is surrounded by the idea of a clash of civilizations so by looking at this i noticed that there's some covenant textures on a crash site here next to the foreigner technology in the background and i may be mistaken but i believe this may be on requiem due to those cones connecting to the sky of the foreigner pillars here i also noticed this map might be vehicle friendly i could completely be off track though there could be trenches across this map as well so as i kind of see like a crack that might actually just be like a death point fall off into some kind of canyon it could either be a medium or small play space but I'm not really thinking this map will be too huge there is an entrance into the structure leading me to assume that there are either narrow walkways or maybe whole rooms within this structure it also appears that the map might take place in a gloomy theme as well as 3 for 3 is very good at making depressing maps I'm not gonna lie I do love them all However, destruction and craziness is upon this map there might be some clues exactly what happened on this map called wreckage However, we can see the wide open sea in the large forerunner pillars right here shooting out into the sky. These might actually be impl implemented into the map because they look like a pretty big part of the picture and 3 for 3 probably isn't as concerned about the background as they are about the playable space. So that probably will just be chunked in there just definitely, but what you see here is probably going to be completely different. Of course, this is concept art and we can't really exactly know anything about this map until we actually get more info. Next up is Harvest. Apparently there is a blend of small tight spaces and dangerous exposures. When playing this, you'll venture into the human colony of Harvest. I may need a history lesson or two, but as far as I know in Halo, the series harvest was basically a farming world to put it in humorous but simple terms but yes in the background that is what i'm assuming is a space elevator and history terms has helped the survival of plenty of people when the covenant invaded this image is supposed to be a city on harvest apparently according to a few sources this is concept art and all and i can't really put my finger on this little rocket or ship flying by Though we just really don't know much, like I said just a moment ago, it may just be background ships to add a real impact on realism or just throw players into the game or, you know, something else. Maybe a new vehicle they might add. If if so, then 3 for 3, you are just really awesome. Yes, so Harvest was supposed to be a pretty world, so we may be able to expect habitation either on the map or in the mountains in the background or even just the boundaries, basically. You can even notice some vegetation going on the rocks right here on the right side. This map may be balanced. However, it might be asymmetrical, different on both sides map as well. Seeming that there's a bridge here and has two levels if that stays in. There are also patios that come off the cliffside. These patios might actually have banshees on them or maybe perhaps the UNSC flying vehicle that we're all kind of disappointed that didn't really make its way into Halo 4. And seeming that there is an open gap in the middle which is called a ravine, this part will most likely become the cliffside that is, I guess, later becomes the fall to death box. Lastly, we have this map and it is named Shatter. It is based on a human attack on an alien moon, looking quite a lot like Vortex or maybe even inspired from it I have to say. I see yellow particles coming down, perhaps this will fall just like snow, and this map might have open wide terrain for vehicles to drive around like the Warthog and Mongoose, or perhaps an open space, an open skybox for us to fly the Banshee around with the human structures being the center point and probably the most played space for the player versus player action hit point and probably will support game modes like Dominion. Of course, there's a volcano exploding and erupting and lightning striking in the background. We could probably expect this to be a big part of the background, sort of like the Meltdown default map on the Halo 4 maps, comparing the Core Reactor Forerunner Meltdown and the volcano here. Of course, this is on a moon, as I can see the planet rings, similar to Saturn's rings on our planet system, or our solar system anyway, probably going on to mostly the sky and probably what is going to be our big view. All right, well, guys, that is the end of the video, though we still have our lovely community question which is what is your favorite map out of the crimson map pack which one looks the coolest to you or do you like even any of them or are you just waiting for another map pack leave your response down in the comments below be sure to thumbs up this video if you liked it and only if you did subscribe for more hail 4 videos this has been chris 
with a nasally nose because I am sick right now, but I am signing out. I'll see you guys later.